Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Walmart Yase and Walmart Camel Fans. They did a song called You and Me, and it samples, obviously, if you don't know, John B. Okay, go look it up. Um, and they basically copied the whole melody. Like, I was like, what? I've heard this song before. They switched a few words, but majority of it wasn't even original. And that's my issue with Chloe Bailey. It's like she never could be original. It's like it's already been done before Chloe. This was supposed to be an original song, and they out here reusing melodies. Okay? It's like, I don't even understand why Chloe wants to be a singer. I don't get it. What's the point? You can just be an Instagram model and do covers on YouTube. Because that's basically what Chloe does. She does covers. She sings songs that are already out. Okay? Um, I don't really care for this collaboration. It wasn't that great. And a lot of people on social media agree with me. I mean, I'm seeing the comments and people are saying, well, this has been done before. We've already known this song, okay? And if you don't know, you can go look it up on YouTube. Um, it's called um, They Don't Know or something like that by John B., okay? Who is an R&B singer, you know, from the 90s. So with that being said, I don't really respect this collaboration because they hyped it up. You know, they did the PR stunt, she was posting pictures for this. I don't get it. I really don't. And this is why I have a hard time messing with Chloe. Because if any other artist always was, you know, copying or not being original, people would call them out. If this was Normani, you know, people would be dragging her. If this was Nicki Minaj, People will be dragging her, okay? Um, Beyonce still gets called out for allegedly copying years ago. So I feel like, why don't people call out Chloe for doing the same thing? And my thing is she never just once does something original, okay? I mean, have mercy, I guess it's the only original thing she can do, but that was trash too. So to me, I don't really respect Chloe as an artist. I really try to. And before people say, well, this is gonna song, she is credited as a lead artist. So she has an input, okay? Um, you can look at that um, on the credits. With that being said, I don't care for the record. Um, the record was okay. Um, it's not trash, but it's not that great either. Moving on to the weekend, I did listen to his Dawn FM album, okay? Now, based on that trailer that he put out a few days ago, you know, I thought that the album was going to be a little bit more darker, okay? Um, but it definitely was pop and techno. Um, you know, he worked with Max Martin, who is like a pop writer and a producer, um, with that being said, though, you know, there was some really good records on this album. Okay. Now I do like Don't Break My Heart. Um, you know, Best Friends. I like that record. Out of Time was an, another good record. Um, you know, he does have some really good songs on this album. Um, and then, you know, I do feel like he took some shots at Bella Hadid still okay um because he's talking about somebody that broke his heart but now he's with an actress and um that actress is probably angelina jolie even though i don't believe that they are going to last because angelina has like five kids okay and she's twice his age so i don't think that the weekend is gonna want to take care of five kids that he did not birth. It's not his children, okay? Plus, he said he's a huge Brad Pitt fan. So I don't really feel like, you know, this relationship is going to last. But 
he did talk about it in this, um, you know, album. I also feel like the features were not necessary. Tyler, the creator, and the Lil Wayne feature was not necessary. Okay, he could have just had nobody. Um, and then on top of that, I feel like we needed a video. Um, I, I think he wants the fans to choose the single, and that's why there's no video. But when he released the trailer, I thought that there was going to be a video. Okay, so hopefully, you know, he puts one out, but I think he wants the fans to kind of choose the single and then off that he, he will decide um, what video to do. I think that's what he's trying to do. But out of, you know, one out of 10, I would give this maybe like a seven. It wasn't my favorite, um, the weekend album. But it can grow on me because I remember his last album, I only liked a few songs and then I end up re-listening and I liked more over time. So hopefully that happens. Moving on to Party Next Door because he was trending, you know, a day or two ago. And a lot of fans on Twitter were wondering what happened to Party Next Door? Why did he fall off? Now, some fans were speculating that Drake had something to do with him falling off, holding him back in his career. Um, and in my opinion, I feel like maybe Drake did not want Party to um, outshine him. Because Party Next Door, he writes for artists too. He wrote for Rihanna and he wrote for DJ Khaled. And then on top of that, he can rap and sing. He was bringing them hits. Okay. Um, with that being said, though, I feel like maybe Drake um, felt some type of way about, you know, Party being compared to him. Because, you know, back then, Party Next Door was heavily compared to Drake. Okay. Even though Drake had signed him. And um, if you guys did not know... Drake actually wrote a song for Rihanna called R.I.P., which was given to Rita Ora because Rihanna did not want it. But then when Party Next Door got into the studio with Rihanna, he wrote um, Sex With Me. Um, he wrote, um, you know, Wild Thoughts by Rihanna um, and Bryson Tiller and DJ Khaled. And so, allegedly, Drake felt some type of way that Rihanna was accepting songs from Party Next Door. But when he would try to write for her, she would say no. Okay? Or she would give the songs to somebody else. Because Drake wrote a record that was for Rihanna and Rita Ora took the record. And then he also wrote another record for uh, Melanie Fiona who is also very talented. She used to be on Rock Nation, okay? Um, but allegedly, you know, that song was for Rihanna also. So let me know what you guys think about that. I do feel like Drake does not want any of the artists that he signs to outshine him, even though they're really talented. And that's why you got to be careful when you sign to these big artists because a lot of them see you as competition too, so let me know what you guys think about that. Why do you think Party Next Door fell off? Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.